Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today we're on episode 37. Today's question of the day is, what is your favorite magic mod? So there's Botania, there's Thomcraft, Blood Magic. So what I want to know is, what is your favorite one? I'm going Thomcraft 4 because I really like Thomcraft. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, challenge for today is going to be 271 likes. Let's see if we can beat that. I know you guys can do it because you guys are awesome. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So today's episode, I want to start off by getting back into RF tools a little bit. Um, I want to do the Dimlet Researcher. I also want to do an export bus. Export. Fuzzy. So what I'm thinking is if I can export these out of the system and it'd be a fuzzy one maybe to a chest or maybe to just to the thing itself, we can start identifying some of these dimlets that we have and maybe make some awesome worlds. There we go. So uh, let's just go ahead and give this a try. We'll put it right here and then we'll put that right there. That should work, I think, just like so. And let's put the fuzzy card in. So that's still charged Certus, though. Uh, we're also getting power. Do I have a Tesseract? Um, let's just go ahead and craft another one. I'm a little, I'm a little worried about that. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Anyways, uh, capacity card. We're not a capacity card. I want an acceleration. Craft some of those. Oh, I didn't realize I made only one. Come on. Let me just make like 10 of them. There we go. So put that there. Those up and is our test rack finished? Test rack finished. No. <laughs> Every time. Psycho Enderman. Okay. So <laughs> now that we've got power, uh, actually, I want to put this on the top side of it. It's still only doing the same, same ones. Why is it not? Um, oh, you know what? Here. This is what I want. There we go. So now, um, let's grab an inner chest. And a chest. And a conduit. Conduer. I can conduer, all right. Sorry. Perverted Jevin is perverted. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll just throw these back into the system and just let that run, I suppose. So there's like 1,500 of them. Um, once that's finished, I wonder if that's going to count as an individual spot in our AE system. Hmm. I can always make more drives, I suppose. Anyways, I'm going to let that run and uh, try building a world when we come back. All right, guys. So I have got my RF world stuff or my RF tool stuff set up. I kind of want to make try to make a new world. I just noticed that I don't have my um my dislocator. There we go. That up there. So I found this thing for mining worlds that says every order of material that you need to put in there. So the first one it says is material. We need to pick one of these. Material clay could be a good one because we actually need clay a lot of the times. Stained glass, sandstone, material default. We could do material default. Mincio. Charge Shirtus. There's so many of them. Coal ore. Yeah, dude. Okay, you know what? Here. I'm going to get rid of the clay and I'm going to do default. And then it says liquid default. Um, there we go. Then we need terrain flat. Hopefully we have that. 
Do, 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 do. Train void, train flat. Then we need a controller. Stupid T work. Controller uh, single is what we're looking for. Controller single. Then we need a biome. Which ones do we have? Beach, ice plains, deep ocean. Let's just go with something a little bit easier. So planes will work. Uh, then we have to do the sky ones. We need sky normal. And so sky normal. Then we need sky day night. Or sky day. Normal sky day. <laughs> sky normal day. Sorry. Then we need sky normal night. Then we need sky normal fog. This is just like, um, just like Miscraft. Then we need uh, sky body uh, fog. So let's just look up fog. Sky normal fog. Um, then we need mob default. Then we need effect none. This is like a normal mining dimension. Um, feature none. And then we need structure. If we have village, I'm so using a village. Uh, none village fortress yellow. And then time noon. Come on. Time normal. Uh, noon. There we go. And then I need a tab. Okay. Okay, so that is going to be our uh, world. It's going to cost 7,000 RF per tick. Put that in there. Wait, I think we have to wait for that to build up, don't we? It's going to take a second. I think it has to get to 100%. In the meantime, let's just make sure we got everything we need. We won't need this here. I'm going to grab a chest. We are not going to need... Whoa, stop doing that. We're not going to need that. Um, I might keep that with me. I definitely want to keep that with me. And that's selected for home. Keep the apple on me just in case. I think we'll be good to go. Can I dial yet? No. All right, so yeah, that's got to get to 100%. Probably using a lot of power too. I wonder... I wonder if we can see how much power is coming out of that Tesseract. So I've got our conduit probe here. Um, capacitor bank, machine buffers at 10 million RF. Average output over five seconds is 7,300. But I think that's just drawing this power from this. It's like the same thing pretty much. So we should be able to dial now. And let me put my probe back. All right, let's see if we did did something right or wrong or what happens. I'm kind of nervous. I hope it's an awesome world. Uh, oh, I forgot my ender pouch. Hold on, let me make a dial. Um, add new, dimlet, commit, home, come on, pouch, and let's go. So what do we have in our world? So we've got some horses. This is a pretty, I mean, a pretty solid world so far. Level 70. 
Here, I'm going to mark this over here. I know it's not exactly um, needed. Um, oh, is it already, already marked? Um, portal. So there should be villages in this world. Or at least it said there was supposed to be villages in this world. So let's take a look around and see what we got. Well, it seems like it's loading just fine. World's normal. Seems like we made a pretty normal world to me. Ooh, move fluids. Can't even think about that. Molten Electrum. Dude, I'm gonna have to come back here with like like a hundred safari nets. There's a village over here, I think. Yeah. Something right there. Oh, it's a uh, RF tools house. That was, that'll work too. Get more dimlets. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing any villages. So chaotic. That's a good one because we don't have that one. Biome jungle. Mesa, controller checkerboard, canyons. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any villages, which kind of makes me sad. I picked that one for a reason. I, uh, I really, really wanted villages. Still a nice, you know, normal world. Now, I wonder if there's uh, anything down below. Sorry, I'm just curious. Move fluid. <laughs> Hooch! Alright, let's dig down. Any orbs? Oh no, I'm hungry. This would be a pretty good mining world, though. <clears throat> Although I think the deep dark has more. Diamonds. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. All right, well, I'm going to continue to look around here um, and I'll let you know if I find anything. All right, guys. So I want to try something a little bit different this time. Um, I want to make sort of a clay world, I think, or try to. Material, I want just material clay. There we go, material clay. So that'll go... Here. Then, um, I was messing around with this jelly chirithium, but it's too expensive. So we just need a liquid, uh, default. Okay, put that there and then I taking the village ones out because the village isn't working for me either. So structure, none, there we go. So this should be a, a pretty solid um, dimlet. Creation costs 7,000, maintenance costs 332 RF per tick. Uh, put that in there. Are we not getting any power? Like, what's going on here? Um, oh, we're sending energy. We want to receive energy. There we go. Getting power now. Much better. And I'm assuming, yeah, that'll be there. Okay, so we'll let that go up for a minute. And then I can put those back that back we've got our pouch we've got food i think we're pretty much all set let me grab some more steak there we go do we have we do have pams in this don't we we should really look into making some better food even like a smoothie or something like we should make some like cheeseburger some cheeseburger <laughs> okay um what do I? I wonder if I have any of the stuff to make like a cheeseburger. 
What's it require? Butter. So that's just wheat. That's uh, salt. Compressed salt block. Pot and water. Huh. It's like a whole nother game. I haven't even worried about food yet. I was always eating steak. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So the dim one is now 100%. And it's storing RF for tick, um, number four. So we want to dial zero to four. Let's grab a U. We're set to home. Let's go ahead and teleport and see if we can't get ourselves some free clay. I wonder how, like how much clay will be here, if any at all. I don't know, it seems pretty normal to me. F3 and A. Well. Um, all I see is flat so far. I don't see any lakes or anything. Okay, maybe no clay at all. So we're, we're paying for clay, but not getting any clay. Interesting. I guess I still got a little bit to learn um, about the whole RF thing. Cause I'm not, I mean, I see a spider tree. Huh. I don't know. Give me your goodies. Quartz, more dimlets. Like I really need more dimlets. All right, let's just take a look around. Yeah, there's no, no lakes or anything here. All right, you know what? Let's go back. Go back home. And we might have a better shot of getting clay at a liquid. Or, um, hold on, let me go back up here. And steal this guy. So we have material clay. Change that to normal. Oh, that's why it wasn't working. I have that messed up. That needs to be a uh, liquid liquid. Oops. -y. So. Lake. Do we have a lake one? Hold on. Let me look and see if there's like a lake. Features lakes. No. Um, I don't even know where the features one goes, to be honest with you. Uno momento, Captain. So features is right after effect. Put that there. And then we want to do liquid default. Liquid default. There we go. So let's fix that. I didn't even realize I did that. Um, so material default. Liquid default. And then feature lakes. And then store. Ooh, that one. That one's a little expensive, actually. 7,000. Oh, it's only a thousand RF per tick. That's not bad. Okay, so we've got to let that store again. We put this other stuff back real fast. I hope we have enough power. I always see all these people with like these computer craft monitors that tell them how much RF per tick they have going in. I would love to have something like that. I'm going to have to Google that because I really want to know. Because um, I, I always see like like everybody who has those. Dude, those things are sick looking. Man, it's not doing too bad so slow okay in the meantime let's do r f t dim safe del two and three so we'll delete uh those and i'm assuming that number four is the one that we're making now it doesn't have a name i'll wait for it to be a hundred percent before i do anything else <laughs> 
Almost there. Okay, so it's actually ID two. There we go. Hopefully we don't bite the dust. The world shouldn't cost that much, especially if it just has lakes in it. Okay, not bad, not bad. The only problem is not really the lakes I'm looking for. I'm looking for ones that have clay in them. Some, I mean, some of these might. Uh, nothing there. Oh, uh, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fly around for a little while and collect as much clay as I can possibly get. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with RF tools for today. I think we're done all together. Um, we're still learning about the patterns and, you know, how to how to do different things. But I think in the future, this is going to come in handy for when we need different things. Um, but right now we're doing pretty good. So um, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. This is I, Jevin. Peace out.